Any information on this? It wasn't one of our satellites. I'm forwarding this inquiry to NASA. This is Dr. Linda Murphy of Langley. ISS was nearly hit by a rogue satellite. Do you guys have anything in that sector? That's a negative, no red. We have no authorized air traffic in that quadrant. You kids are always monkeying around with some. Are you calling to reprimand me for breaking some Bunsen burners? Or is there another reason that Homeland Security is calling? No. No, what you thought on this? It's hard to say. It has no organic shape to it. So it ain't a meteor? Unlikely. Possibly a satellite. What's the rate of descent? It's falling at 28,000 feet per second. 28,000? ISS has visual contact. It passed by on our starboard side. Nearly took us out. Detected possible signs of life. We managed to get one picture of the object before it escaped our range. Transmitting to you now. 15 seconds. Stand by. Pull it up. Whoa. Dr. Reynolds, gotta call you back. Pleasure as always, Dr. Murphy, but what may I ask is so important you call an emergency meeting at this hour? More unidentified flying objects? Not unidentified, sir. It's the elf. You can't be serious. It's the elf. Dr. Murphy, this is classified. It just crashed in South Central Chavez County, New Mexico, sir. It's not classified any longer. Chavez County, that's somewhere near Roswell, right? What the hell is the L, Blinda? A secret joint U.S.-Soviet deep space probe launched June 17, 1985. Hold on, but we weren't conducting any joint missions with the Soviets back in the 80s. That's why it's secret. April 25th, 1945. The day Soviet and American troops met at Elbe River, Germany. An important step toward ending the war. I'm familiar with that little bit of history there, kiddo. Well, Bush Jr. and Putin felt nostalgic. Yeah, they determined a joint mission in the deep space. If successful, it would end the Cold War and significantly boost the economies of both countries. And success meaning? Contact with alien life forms. So I'm going to presume that this mission failed. Naturally. We lost contact with the Elbe August 12, 2007. And contact with the ship was never reestablished? Not until today. We'll get down there and retrieve our property, Murphy. There's not a moment to lose. Uh, Co-property, sir. Surely the Russians will have something to say about this. Well, that's why time is of the essence. I want you to use whatever force is necessary and report immediately on the state of the occupant, okay? Occupant? A chimpanzee, certainly deceased. Although we should proceed with caution. Everything's a day late and a dollar short.
rumble of a Humvee. Dr. Reynolds? Approaching a crash site, Linda. You ready? Since when do you do field work? It's a hell of a lot better than being stuck behind a desk in the office. Listen, kiddo. We've known each other a long time. If I remember when your daddy first brought you to the Kennedy Space Center, you crawled over that console, started pushing buttons, and damn near started World War III. I was curious. You were impulsive. Now, when we get there, you let us secure that perimeter before you go charging in. You got me? Yes, sir. 15 seconds. Copy that. Showtime! Roll up! You'll be able to see everything on your laptop. Just don't post it on stinking YouTube. Can I live stream? Hell no! This ain't no how-to video. Copy that. Do we really need this much firepower? When Rush is involved, better safe than sorry. Move out! I'll be on the radio. Just keep your ears open. Catching this, Linda? I see it. You thinking re entry damage? Our data shows both shoots deployed. Landing on sand wouldn't have caused that kind of damage. Get me closer. Let's get it a little closer, let's get inside. The ship wasn't banged in. It was banged out. Signs of a struggle. Where's the pilot? Don't touch it! It could be toxic, possibly contagious. Dr. Reynolds, I'd suggest we pull back until we can determine- Hold on a second, Linda. Do you hear that? Reynolds, pull your team back, now! Copy that. We'll hazmat up and come back. Roger that. Back to the Humvees! Sounded like a lion. Cut the damn chatter. Retreat! Retreat! No. 
Long time, Murphy. Eva? Eva Kulishov? I was hoping you'd remember. How could I forget? There was a lot of vodka flowing in Oxford. Let's tend to that head, huh? Can I get first aid here? Where's Undersecretary Reynolds? Who? Undersecretary Reynolds! I thought Linda. he might still be. I'm sorry. Your comrades fought bravely. All one fights. Is just as important as a result that it yields. We're done, thank you. Still quoting Lenin? Star Trek. I read you became a paleontologist working for the state? And an astrophysicist, like yourself. It's good to see you, Murphy, even under the circumstances. What attacked us? With something quite extraordinary. I think you might recognize it. That's not Abraham. The creature we saw out there was 15 feet tall, over five times. Six times. He's the original size. But how? This was cold war, I'd have to say. I'm sorry that was hallucination brought on by your head injury. I know what I saw. Mm. Luckily, our superiors are eager to continue our secret Russia-American Union. The capsule was covered in it. It is definitely not of terrestrial origin. Fantastic. And the fact that it seems to have survived not only exposure to space, but the intense heat of re-entry makes it quite an interesting alien substance, indeed. Do you believe it has something to do with Abraham's growth? Inconclusive. We need to conduct further testing in a proper laboratory setting. Where? Moscow? No. It appears we'll be returning to the scene of the crime. We're taking Abraham back to Langley. Black, as I recall. Black. Like the heart of the space program. Spasiba. Ajosta. Well, surely the exploration of deep space in order to make contact with alien life form is a noble. Noble? Well trained, aren't they? We Russians know how to control our motions. Like at Oxford. Touche. Is it my imagination or is he already getting bigger? Our latest readings indicate he is 1.5 meters greater in length than when first captured. It's terrible what he's been subjected to. This never should have happened. but at least he's home now. I'm sure you'll take good care of him. I'll do my best. Doctor, come quick, he's broken the restraints. What's happened? He's broken loose. <laughs> Get out of my way! Go, go, go! 
secure the area. Doctor, we have orders to shoot the beast if he tries to exit this lab. No! That glass is transparent armor, three feet thick. You could fire a howitzer directly at it and it wouldn't make it. We have armor piercing shells. Prepare to fire! No! Take aim! No, don't! Please! Get out of the way! Punch a coal! I got it! I have a shot! Wait, hold your fire! It's working! The gas is working. He is sedated. It is under control. This isn't necessary. Eva, put, put your gun down. Put your guns down. Was she out of line? Yes. But General, you have to understand, she grew up with that ape. I don't care. Besides, my troops were held up at gunpoint by that commie. And Dr. Murphy was on her side? Dr. Murphy's on our side, and Eva is a scientist, not a soldier. Those two seem unusually chummy. They're old friends, General, and they've been at this since time began. But can they be trusted? After all, one is a bleeding heart animal rights activist, and the other's a cold-blooded Rusky. I trust Linda. Let's just hope she doesn't let her emotions cloud her judgment. Vector 7, Bravo 2. Vector 7, Bravo 2. You ready to give us a report there, McDaniels? Yeah, my bladder's full, but it's calm. Oh, yeah? Sounds like you're having a busy night there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty chilly. It's pretty nice all by myself and quiet. I'm going to check this thing out. You sure that's a good idea? How the hell did a monkey survive this? I don't know, McDaniels. Why don't you tell us? Sounds like you're ready to camp out in that capsule. <laughs> I don't think there's enough room for me to take a shit. Well, don't get too comfortable. Man, this is crazy. Okay over there? You sound like you pissed yourself. Yeah. Yeah, fine. You sure about that? I 
think so. I reported something strange from the crash site and then the line just went dead. Try him again. Surveillance cameras? Of course. Oh, yeah. All right, look, it's been this way the last few minutes. We get the report just uh, right before this came in. Okay. Play it back. There. They saw something go to the west. Yes. Something that knocked out the video feed. But what? EMP? All right, we have a live feed, come back on, all right, guys, five, four, three. Stop, what is that? Holy shit. Whoa, does, does that look like a tail to you? Possibly, or just a glitch caused by interference. No, 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 a glitch, that's organic. A tail? Reptilian. I don't know what kind of reptiles you're playing with. I've never seen a reptile with a tail that size. Get me a high resolution copy. Still and slow mo. All right, I got you, boss. Just let's not jump to conclusions. I'm not jumping, I'm hypothesizing. That there's another mutation out there? The MP radioed that there was something giant. How do we know that there weren't traces of that substance left on the desert floor? It's possible. We gotta make certain. Something killed those men. Something with enough energy to black out all communications until it was well out of range. I'm going out there. Just stop. I'll go. It was my team. It was my responsibility. Stay. My whole life has been in pursuit of first contact. I'd hoped it would manifest otherwise. But if it is in the form of a virulent strain, it must be fully contained. What about Abraham? He tries another breakout. Our latest measurements show that his growth has slowed. Plus, he's in a bunker that can withstand a direct hit from a hydrogen bomb. Still, we should boost his sedation. Agreed. You know, if the wind sweeps this desert hourly, I don't even know why we're bothering. Keep on it. I got a feeling. Get feelings put people out of business. That's how I lost my axe. Zip it and keep scanning. Oh, come on. At least I know how to wear a harness, honey. I like it this way. Over here. Oh, God. This oh, isn't from the crash. Look at the bones. They're shorn off. Oh, God. Something else happened to this man. Murphy, status update. Yes, sir. We're on site now. And? Small traces of the substance have been recovered. Damn it. I expected as much. This is exactly why I wanted you to investigate alone. Without them. They bungled it. Couldn't even probably contain the most significant find of the 20th century. Um, by them, do you mean our Russian partners? Partners? They were never partners. Not even during World War II when they were supposedly allies. They were never partners. They took Berlin, sir. A publicity stunt. A billion killed, they're allowed to piss on Hitler's grave first. But Patton had it right. They were never to be trusted. But this space program was Bush and Putin's dream. Making first contact together. Murphy, when is that innocent bubble of yours gonna burst? This program was a disaster from the start and it's only getting worse. Sir? We've just had a report of an unidentified light pattern moving really fast eastbound. Sir? I'm gonna send you some coordinates. Can you pass by as you head back to Langley? Of course. Good deal. Detour. Great. Awesome. It's now, comrade Eisenstein. I'm able allowed to get more than a moment of rest. But it's dying, comrade doctor. What is? The alien matter, you see? 
Why? It appears that any exposure in our environment eventually causes a reversible cellular breakdown. Every sample we've acquired is diminishing along this line. What is the timeline? I estimate total cellular breakdown within three hours. Is that a conservative estimate? It is. Blip! And then Abraham. What? The substance is in the simian's bloodstream, Yelka. Is it still active? The last blood test taken was just after his attempted breakout. We didn't dare pull another sample after Dr. Murphy calmed him down, but fortunately he injured his hand and left nice samples smeared on the chamber floor. Result? Diminishment, Comrade Doctor. Reduced cellular activity. Perhaps this account of his lower rate of growth. But no petrification? No. That means the alien substance can still survive within Abraham. Perhaps an organic host preserves substance better than any inorganic system, but they're still dying. Can they be replenished? Comrade Doctor? The simian's life was over effectively the moment he was entered into the program 30 years ago. His life is expendable. Meanwhile, our first contact with an alien life form is being marginalized to the point of annihilation. We cannot allow this to happen. The substance must be preserved. Prepare to release the gas in bunker six, do it quickly. Right, I want you to take every viable sample and load it into a syringe. We're going to inject the alien matter into Abraham. But, Comrade Doctor, we don't know how it will affect the beast. Are you prepared to allow for the extermination of an entire alien species for the sake of one damned ape? No, Comrade Doctor. Well then, give your order. We're two clicks away from the coordinates he sent. What are we looking for? That! Holy shit. What do you mean? It's heading straight towards it. This is a comm set priority. Patch me into the DOT ASAP. This has nothing to do with us. This is Dr. Linda Murphy of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. You have a passenger train heading straight towards Hello? Hello? Something's interfering. The radio's dead. We gotta pull over. Damn it. Our nav's out too. Is that engineer blind? Break, you son of a bitch. Break! Shit. That bridge was our only way forward. We'll have to proceed on foot. You're joking, right? I didn't prepare for hiking. Where are you going? I said we have to take it on foot. Let's go! Da, Pierre Secretary. In a planet near from a region of the post, we know three stories of the whole thing. You were doing that for course here. Yes, Eisenstein. Excuse me, Doctor. We've lost contact with Dr. Murphy and her team. A few miles before reaching the target, there is a signal cut out. How long? We've heard nothing for a half hour. What's the target, Doctor? Unknown. Well, you'll be ready. This baby's got 16 Hellfire missiles with thermobaric warheads, 10 Hydra rockets, and a 30 millimeter chain gun to bust the table. Yes, but can it shoot? That's my bird you're piloting. It'll get the job done. Sensor's got something. I see it. Turn 0. 0.65 degrees. That's it. We're totally locked. Try the radio again. And I told you, Doctor, 
It's fried. Whatever energy that creature was emitting, burned it, along with every communicator we have. That's great. It's, you know, we're just gonna die out here. That's marvelous. That's the spirit truth. If at first you don't succeed, forget about it. Yeah, that's it. We gotta <laughs> keep moving. Gives the civilization to let the authorities know what they're dealing with. Wait, wait, wait. You were saying? You hear that? Baker, the Abel, do you copy? They're not responding. Is it them? No, I doubt anyone would be picnicking out here. Baker, do Abel, do you copy? Linda, it's Eva. Ah, finally! We're coming in. See? We're good. We're safe. My eyes are peeled. For what? Ain't nothing out here but lizards and beach. You know what? Maybe you're right. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm thinking about this all wrong. It's my fault. It's the power of psychological thinking. You, is that an earthquake? No. Run! Linda! Linda! Flying that helicopter. Someone with a lot of balls. I'm coming around for another fez. It's time for the chain gun. This lizard won't mess with a Russian. I fire him more rockets. That thing's too close. You might hit the team. They're dead if I don't fire. I fire it now. Knock, knock. The reptile's gone. It's underground. Anyone home? It's Eva. A few minutes more, is gonna leave. Was that you flying? That was some fancy flying back there. We lost Myers. I know. I saw that creature. Gila monster. No doubt about it. The image on the video was. His tail. Yes, I can see that now. But how? The desert is its home. Only an alien element could have caused such a massive mutation. We found remnants of it at the site. Clearly, right. the creature made contact and has been growing ever since. All right, you ready to go back to work, or is that your new lab down there? He's trying to get out. Washington and the Kremlin. This laser will remain hidden for long. But how to destroy it? The strikes you made only seem to slow him. Yes, obviously much higher concentration of firepower will be necessary. This is Langley for Dr. Is Murphy. Right? Linda, he's got loose. We couldn't stop him. No. Abraham's escaped. Abraham's escaped! What? There's no way. Who's there? understand his growth rate had slowed 
How could he grow three times his size so quickly? I want to see the surveillance video. Freeze it? What about the cameras in the bunker before the breakout? Maybe it has some clue. Unfortunately, the Siemens disabled surveillance cameras shortly before we received a distress call. He's changed. But how? What caused it? Abraham's tracker. Where is he heading now? Moving fast. Looks like he's heading north towards Seaford. I don't know. Any reports of further destruction? Uh, no, unfortunately, he's in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's a ideal hiding place for an ape. A creature that size doesn't just disappear. You all think it's your American Bigfoot. It's just a matter of time. There's rumors he has destroyed your new extraterrestrial defense initiative, but nobody here will confirm it. How do you know about EDI? That's classified. Your new Star Wars program? Please. Haven't you learned this yet about us Russians? We know things about your people before you do. The signal's gone dead. What was his last location? I don't know. It looks like, uh... Beaverton? Huh. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Went fishing there when I was growing up. We need to get to Washington. I think I should. Yes, Jones? Jones, get your coat. Fine, fine, I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming. Abraham was spotted three miles east of Rollins Fork. We know, but that was two hours ago. No eyes yet. Abraham ripped out his GPS. Smart monkey. How can you lose giant ape? He hasn't hit any major population centers and appears to be hiding. Nonsense. It's a monkey. With the ability to comprehend complex thoughts. What about that uh, lizard? Underground, no chip. You have big problem in America. Lizards can swim for secretary. Russia can soon have the same problem. Abraham must be getting bigger. How? The man behind the Project Elf is your father, right? He has nothing to do with this. Well, he may be able to give us some answers we need. Like what? Like why Abraham is still alive after all this time. Why is he behaving so strategically? In case you don't remember, he was dismissed from the program because of Elb. I suggest we look to the present for answers, not the past. I believe your emotions are uh, adversely coloring your conclusions, Dr. Murphy. There's nothing personal here, sir. I haven't spoken to my father in over 10 years. You reported some kind of uh, glow for this uh, creature. Is that correct, Dr. Murphy? Yes. But you're super chimp. Abraham. Abraham, yeah, he doesn't show any glow. No, sir, n not since last contact. Well, what do you think accounts for this discrepancy? We believe Abraham's ingestion of the substance was a gradual microparticulate intake, uh -huh. much like a gas. Okay. It slowly penetrated the capsule and mixed with the oxygen Abraham was breathing. Whereas the Gia monster may have ingested the substance directly. This is all very interesting, doctors. I have only one question. Where exactly are these two freaks of nature now? Let me introduce General Delaney doctors taking command for the, for the late General Reynolds. Dr. Murphy. I understand you and my predecessor were very close. You have my sympathies. But you must appreciate that this is not a time for emotional outcries. I didn't believe I was engaging in any. The safety of this great nation must take precedence over any scientific debate. Debate over what? 
Both monsters must be destroyed immediately. Now, wait a minute. Abraham. Abraham. <laughs> you see? You're talking like that ape is your pet hamster. Look, this is all academic, girls. Girls? The orders have been given. Shoot to kill. Is this true, sir? Abraham is part of the space program. For all intents and purposes, he is a test pilot. You don't have to kill him. We can figure out what's wrong, fix this disease. General Laney's right, we can't afford any more casualties, and certainly not a nationwide panic. Your job now is to track these beasts, locate them, and let the military do the rest. Is that clear? Clear, sir. You were saying, General? I was saying I have six armored divisions amassing on the West Virginia border. As soon as that salamander shows his skin, he's guacamole. I was here, you know, when I was a child. I didn't. I remember you speaking of your father, the great Ma Murphy. <laughs> Great. He is, after all, the father of modern astrophysics. <laughs> he should have been father to his children. Genius takes precedence. At times, even over life. Star Trek. Lenin. You clearly admired the man. You, you keep his photograph. You followed in his footsteps. I wanted his approval. But even then, I knew his methods were unethical. And that the ends didn't justify the means. And all of the animals forced into the space program. Like a Miss Baker. And all of the rabbits, dogs, mice, and chimps. All forcibly shot into space for the benefit of mankind were a terrible mistake. Born out of ambition and ignorance. And that it would never happen again. My father lied to me. The great man said that this time it would be different. That Abraham would be safe. And that he would return a hero and become the most important ape, important animal who ever lived. But he has returned. And your father's prophecy may very well come to pass. Abraham was lost in space for 30 years. Can you imagine the toll that has taken on his mind? If he has any mind at all. To speak nothing of this mutation, which in all probability will most likely kill him. My father promised me no more animals would suffer. And I believed him, so much so that I made Abraham that very same promise. It wasn't your fault, Elia. As children, we were taught, the individual is not important. That what matters most is service to the state. So if one man matters not, what chance had an animal? I learned a lot since then. I'll be damned if all I do is put a target on Abraham's back. We must find him first and try to arrest his bro. We will, my way. Okay. I've enhanced our Apache's thermal tracking software with an algorithm that can recognize the alien cells that are active within Abraham's biology. But once located, we become quietly. We want to meet a bigger teddy bear. I have the lab working up a hyper tranquilizer. The one we currently have wouldn't put his leg to sleep. I've got a plan for a net that can be jettisoned from the belly of the Apache. 
and requires explosives and, and acts like an inverse re-entry parachute deployment system. Always for the weary, huh? Just like Oxford. I've got a friend at JPL working on the prototype. But it's not gonna be ready in over 24 hours. What is it, Milaya? <sighs> We're doing everything we can, and I'm no sleep. Are we? <laughs> we must be missing something. What? I don't know. I mean, we've been so focused on the creatures. Maybe we should worry about this green goo. Let the military worry about that. Hello? Wynn. Check the news. All communications are down for 10 miles surrounding Huntington due to an unidentified electrical disturbance. That's gotta be that damn lizard. Delaney will be diverting all of his efforts towards taking down that Gila monster. We might have a chance to save Abraham. Right, let's go. something faint but it's there bathing 820 go there's no safe place to pull over find a clearing anywhere copy up ahead right over there he's up ahead 50 meters. Strange. Blood. No. Unknown. Hang on. The cell count's diminishing. He's here. Yes. He kills the alien cells. We made some preliminary findings while you were patrolling the crash site. Findings? And then all hell broke loose. What, what findings? As I said, whatever extraterrestrial component is inherent in that material is not viable in our atmosphere. It needs a living host. Living host? What about the samples back at the base? They were all stable. For a short time. Only. And then? Total necrosis. The blood's already breaking down. Abraham is going to die. When were you going to tell me this? I wanted to, believe me, but with the gear surfacing and racing to save you. Oh, bullshit! What else are you not telling me? Nothing. It's not true. Look me in the eye. Ah, yeah, no. you bold now. Look at me, Ava. What the hell did you do? Abraham, you injected him, didn't you? You injected him and then erased the surveillance videos. Abraham didn't destroy the cameras back at the bunker. You did. Why? We are running out of time. I did what was necessary to keep the entity alive. You sacrificed Abraham. Sometimes sacrifices are necessary, Milea. Linen? Me. For all your education. All your brilliance. You haven't learned anything at all. Doctors, I'm Captain James Sow, Special Recon. Is everything all right? From Langley? I remember you. What are you doing here? Same thing you are, hunting that monkey. We received a report you had set down. We came to assist. Thank you. But we don't need your assistance. As you can see, what she means, Captain, is that the area is clear. This, this is a wild duck chase, as you Americans say. Goose. Wild goose. Sir! Over here! Looks like... blood, sir. I wouldn't. There's a Gila monster the size of a space shuttle burrowing through West Virginia because it touched that stuff. Back off, Harker. As you can see, Captain, there's nothing here. 
to us here, he's long gone now. We appreciate your medical advice, doctors, but as for the target, we'll see for ourselves. If you'll excuse us. Let's move out! You're off my team. How does a nape get to be the size of a blimp, Cap? That's not your concern, soldier. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't matter how, long as it burns. Abraham? Target located. Sir, what if it's the girls? Collateral damage. <laughs> This is a critical situation. Do you understand what will happen if we don't stop this? And why didn't you tranquilize him? Dr. Kuleshov had the tranquilizer, as I already explained. We split up. I presume she broke away to pursue the Gila monster, but I haven't been able to reach her. This is why girls should not be in combat. Call me girl one more time. People, this is the Pentagon. If you want to fight, go to Capitol Hill. Now. Where is Dr. Kuleshev? Like I said, I lost contact with her after the special forces team was routed. You mean slaughtered? Let's not lose the thread here. Kuleshev is officially missing, and our Apache helicopter has not been found. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? No, sir. Either she's KIA or she doesn't want to be found. Dr. Kuleshova is not important right now. If she is dead, then she died for the cause. We should focus on task at hand. Where is this chimp? I conducted a thorough sweep of the immediate area after I was picked up. No sign. And the giant lizard? Went underground after it entered West Virginia. Sure does seem like the lizard is going after the ape. Looking for a fight. Maybe that's for the best. After all, they can do what you could not. Kill each other. Maybe on your soil, comrade. Those two beasts start going at it. We're going to pay the price. I don't believe they are being led towards each other. They're not natural enemies. And you know this because you've worked with giant unearthly beasts before. Marcos, assemble your team. Let's try and box these MFA fighters into some remote area in Shenandoah Park. Minimize the damage that way. Do what we must to neutralize the Gila monster, but prioritize Abraham's capture. Here we go. It is his capture. That is essential. Or the horror we're facing now will only just be the beginning. Jones, get over here. What do you want? We've always known that the Gila monster emits an intense cosmic glow stemming from its exposure to the alien substance. And that, although naked to the visible eye, that same emittance is detectable within Abraham, albeit at much lower levels. And that this emittance is internal, emerging from the bodies of the animals in question, correct? Correct. Incorrect. Check this. 
every occurrence, from the Gila monster's attack on the train to my last encounter with Abraham. I don't understand. What am I looking at? I upgraded our sky mapping system based on the cellular pattern of the alien substance. That just seems like an excessive amount of work. I suspected something. Look, right here. These are distinct beams of extraterrestrial energy, definitely incoming. They were there all along. We just couldn't see them. Wait, but these are going from New Mexico to Virginia. Yeah, <laughs> confirming our theory that the quakes there were Gila monster related. So you're saying that the, <clears throat> the glow contains the same elemental properties as Gila monster. And the green substance. And our readings off Abraham? Yes. So but what, but what are they? I believe it's a, a guidance system. A what? Abraham and the Gila monster are being directed via remote control. <laughs> You've lost your mind. It's, it's happened, it's official. It's all right there. I'm 100% certain. Yeah, you've lost your mind. Look, the green substance is in their bloodstream. And if the aliens can control that, they can control their every move. It's incredible. OK, from where and by what? I ordered Hubble to provide visuals detailing point of origin. We should get them shortly. But the last beam originated from this location, the Andromeda Galaxy. 2.5 million light years away, in the Milky Way's closest neighbor. Hello? Copy. Thank you. From Hubble. Images coming in. Put it up on the big screen. Good God. How do we defend against this? EDI. The Extraterrestrial Defense Initiative was created for just such a purpose, First Secretary. However, the EDI Operation Center was destroyed when Abraham escaped from Langley. My understanding, it was under repair. Not until further appropriations are approved. <laughs> Calm down, General. More politics? This is unacceptable. I need you to do something, not just sit there. So we're looking at two remote-controlled monsters guided by an alien mother ship headed directly for Earth. No, the Gila monster is definitely being controlled, but Abraham's signal is weak. I think he's resisting control. Irregardless, this is war, gentlemen. Intergalactic combat. Careful, General. I do believe you're drooling. Dad? What are you doing here? As I said earlier, Doctor, reinforcements are needed particularly now. Well, hello, my daughter. Nothing to say? I'm working on it. Put aside your differences. We need to get to work. We need to know what the next move is going to be. We can't afford any more surprises. Yes, sir. Dr. Noah Murphy and I will head back to Langley now. I don't need your help. Huh. Self-sufficiency. I am so proud of you. You don't have the right. Hmm. Indeed, I failed you, Linda, and I am sorry. And to add insult to injury, Elba was an embarrassment. A mission to have first contact that misses is like a boomerang that just never comes back. This one did. Yeah, a little too late. Powers that be don't share the patience of scientists. And you ran away from everything. Listen, Linda, you and your mother were much better off without me. Come on, from an empirical perspective, you have to agree with me. I'm not sure I concur with your findings, Doctor. Be that as it may. What we have in our hands now supersedes any of our personal issues. I am here at the request of the government to do whatever I can to help. Look, 
Your work on cellular tracking is groundbreaking, Linda. And at least it gives us a fighting chance. The question is, how do we use this information against them? I believe if they're being controlled by a signal, that that signal can be interrupted. Are you saying cut the transmission and render them rudderless? Of course. That's to assume they have no will of their own. And I believe Abraham does. He's not acting with malice. He only strikes when provoked. Regardless, cutting the cable is key. I believe it's possible to, to shoot a, a disruptive pulse and cut right through the alien beams. A bioelectric countermeasure. Just a question of time. Time we don't have. Where are the targets currently headed? They appear to be converging, sir. Where? Come on, man, where? I, 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 don't, I don't know, Washington, D.C. Well, that certainly doesn't help matters. But why? Up until this point, they've been moving independently. Possibly. But whomever is controlling them, the target makes strategic sense. With the capital in shambles, the country tumbles into chaos. <laughs> Possibly the world following. I don't believe Abraham is a drone. <laughs> You've always had a special, deep affection for that, Simeon. Yeah, maybe I never should have brought you here. If you hadn't, I would have never became a scientist. And for that, I will always be grateful. But Abraham, he is not like that Gila monster. He wasn't exposed to the alien toxins in the same manner. But those toxins were also injected directly into him by your Russian partner. She's not my partner. Nevertheless, he now has more toxins, as you say, within his system. Toxins that may make him more susceptible to alien command. I believe that his signal is weaker. Abraham is resisting control. You mean you hope? And hope, Linda, is not a strategy. Sometimes hope is the only strategy. Doctors, I think we've got a problem. I just asked you to send me this video. What were you saying about hope? Did anyone else just see that? My God, it's really happening. Call the Pentagon now. What are you doing? You must contain this. What's going on? High alert. Abraham? We're dealing with spaceships now. Hovering over the Pacific Islands. They're heading towards DC. Abraham, the Gila monster, the ship, all of them. They're heading towards DC. And you know this because? No question. And the alien mothership is right behind them. Based on our calculations, they'll be upon the city in a matter of six hours. Attacking the capital? No. Disrupting the chain of command, giving the opportunity to organize a strike force. And demoralize the nation. I don't think propaganda is part of alien agenda, General. We will unleash the unholy hell from the U.S. fighting force. Your tank was wiped out in one swift swoop, General. Tanks are tinker toys. Our new supersonic cruise missiles will punch enough holes in those suckers, they'll wish they never came to this planet. Gentlemen? They're both from this planet. The truth is, sir, we don't know what Abraham will do. He may not be under total control of the aliens. We have to assume the worst. 
What else can we do to prevent destruction of city? We worked up a, a, an electro-bio formula that, that could interrupt the alien transmission that controlled the creatures. I'm requesting permission to install the transmitter on top of the Washington Monument. That's great, see to it. There's no time to lose. Let's do it. It's the best chance we've got. Let's just hope it works. You might be a genius. Delaney, the transmitter has been attached to the monument. The signal will begin broadcasting shortly. Sir, we have a visual on the target. Hiya! Give that monkey all you got! Right now! Over there! Left quadrant! Okay, thank you. You're within the city limits. How long before we transmit? 30 seconds. You know, I used to dream of living in a world where you touch the stars and hold hands with those beyond. And I, I dream of you. Not my adopted daughter, but my own flesh and blood beside me. You got part of it right, Dad. Maybe the most important part. Dr. Murphy! Yes. yes! The status, the status. The transmitter, it's up and running. Eisenstein, how much longer until they're free from alien control? I estimate the alien's beam is at 11, no, 10 percent. strength over Abraham. He's almost free already. Abraham's still holding at about 10 percent. Excellent. It's working, Dad. You did it. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. What's the timetable? It's hard to say. If Abraham is in more possession of his faculties, we might be able to free him sooner. Eisenstein says we're at 8 percent now. Almost there. What about the Gila monster? He's resisting. The transmitter must not be able to reach him underground. Eisenstein, what's the percentage? Alien control of Gila monster is holding at 90%. 90%? That much? Damn it. Patience, Linda. Patience. Give it time. That's one luxury we can't afford. Eisenstein. Please tell me you know where this thing is. Hard to say. His signal is weak. Eisenstein, the Gila signal spike is about to emerge. Excuse me? Did I hear that right? She says the Gila. It's about to emerge. Where? Gentlemen, we have a new target. I don't see Abraham. Eisenstein, what's Abraham's status? Abraham is completely free from control, but without alien signal, his location is unclear. Abraham is free, but you know, he must have run away, and I think we should do the same. Linda, you don't need to be here. You're not a soldier. You're damn right, come on. No, I'm a scientist, just like my father. Real cute, but now's not the time, come on. Linda. Let's get out of here. Do you hear that? Show. 
Come on, knock that bastard down. Come on. Blow him to smithereens, I say. Then I'll be dipped in piss. I have bad news. Alien Beam has regained control of Abraham. The longer the signal is down, the more mindless and destructive he will become. Without signal, we lose the only chance we still had. Tell me there's another transmitter, prototype, anything. A prototype, yes. But it's incomplete, and on the other side of DC, it's too dangerous. Looks like I failed you again, daughter. Sir, we've lost General Delaney and the transmitter is down. What are your orders? What else can we do to prevent destruction of city? We can't save the city. Patch me through to Dr. Murphy. It's over. Get out of D.C. while you still can. We're gonna burn this whole place to the ground. To hell with that. Now's not the time to give up. Grab your car, meet me out front. What? We're going after that device. Have you lost your mind? Do you not see what's happening out there? We're, gonna We're be going after that device. Now, Jones. Go! Dad. The transmitter is in a black box in a white van with a beacon at the top of the city center parking structure. You can find it. It's there. Okay. And we got a chance. Yes. Let's go. What, what are you doing? I'm getting you to safety. I'm not leaving you up here. Linda, look around. Inside, outside, the danger is everywhere. No, I belong here. This is the best vantage point in the city. I can give you live updates on location of the heel monster and Abraham. Go. Get the job done. I'll be with you the whole way. bullet and I'm dying to do this do what drive like a maniac with complete and utter disregard for all authority don't get cocky the Gila monster still has the authority till we cut his cord good thing they've already evacuated this place well, isn't that always how it goes you know politicians go first and their helicopters while they leave the rest of us here to fry She's doing what? Get me Murphy. What are you doing to help contain this monster? You should be using nuclear weapons. Speak of the devil. Murphy, I understand you're on some kind of suicide mission. Explain. Suicide is not our intention, sir. A prototype of the device my father created to sever alien control of the monsters is somewhere in a van. Sounds pretty futile, Murphy. Isn't there any other course of action? What's your father say? Dad, what's your take? Restore the transmitter, cut the signal, and the destruction stops. It might stop the alien ship, too. My father concurs. Murphy, you make a good point. Watch the road! <laughs> He's right behind us. Step on it. Doing the best I can. Murphy, are you still there? For all intents and purposes, the device is in an indestructible box. Fit it with a tracking device. It's our only hope to gain the upper hand. We have to find that device. I'd like your spare, Murphy. Let's hope it's enough. Do you need any support? Troops, equipment? Negative, sir. I've got all the backup I need. Then get the job done and God be with you. Now you sound like your father, sir. I'll take that as a compliment. Marco is out. Hang a right at the next light. Right! I said right! Don't tell me where to drive, by the way. I, I know this town like the back of my hand, okay? All right, okay, it's directly up ahead. Park it, park it over there. Sure about that? Nothing sure in science, Jones. You know that, until it's proven. It's up there, probably near the roof. Of course it is. <laughs> it's great, absolutely fantastic. The Gila monster's getting closer. Hey, wait, 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 wait. It's there. 
How are we gonna get in? so much easier in the movies. Incomplete is right. Where's the auxiliary power source? Damn it! Jones, see if the car has a compression filter. Wait a minute. Got it! Hurry up, Murphy. We don't have much time. Gunships are on standby. Come on. Come on. Looks like it's still functional. Do you need a filter or not? Linda, you'll need to manually bypass the motivator. Only then will the signal resume. Is that the red or the blue channel? This might take a minute. I'll keep watching. Did you know we have court since to the end of the world? What are you doing? Extraction point is in opposite direction. Where are you going? They need all the help they can get in Washington. Are you crazy? This is not your fight, Eva. How one fights is just as important as a result it yields. This is insubordination. I'm calling it. Nothing. The signal is on. Ever comes to gain control. The Gila is holding, and it's right on top of them. Son of a bitch. to forgive. I'm sorry, too. You did what you thought was right. That's all I needed to hear, Amelia. Don't be done yet. Just boy, Balu. Balu, Jesus. Suka. They have my permission to fire. Linda, congratulations. I understand you've accomplished your mission. No, wait. I didn't do anything. Abraham killed the Gila monster. That's one down, one to go. Get the gunships on route to take that monkey out. So I suggest you get your ass out of there. No. You don't understand. Abraham defeated the monster. Murphy, are you there? Oh, God. No. I'm sorry. 
This is National Security Advisor Marcos. Do not, I repeat, do not fire on the simian. Copy, sir. We're falling back. Sir, ISS has just confirmed. The alien spacecraft has left our atmosphere. Are you certain, Doctor? Well, according to our readings, the uh, alien spacecraft has left the atmosphere and is heading back to whence it came. With their tail between their legs, no doubt. <laughs> General Delaney would certainly be happy about that. Well, we will continue tracking it, of course. And the remote control over the creatures? The uh, felled Gila monster is creating no signs whatsoever, totally inactive. Cool. And the simian. What's going on? Where's Abraham? Linda, Linda, easy, easy. He's gonna be okay. He's going to be okay. That's what you told me when I was nine. No, 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 look. I learned my lesson. No more lies, no more hiding. Science smiles only on the truth. And the truth is, you were right about Abraham all along. Your multiple witnesses told me that he took down that Gila monster single-handedly. But, but why did you call off the gunships if you needed further confirmation of what I already told you? Well, my dear, I acted on something I haven't considered since I was a little boy. And what's that? Faith. What about Abraham? Where will he go now? Doctor? Well, we found a uh, base out near Santa Fe. We think it would be the perfect sanctuary for him. For him to heal and for the two of you to get reacquainted. And of course, it's a perfect location for study. Study? What, what kind of study and by whom? By you alone. You have total authority on the matter, if you want it. And with a little assistance from an old man, if you'll have me. Thanks, Dad. I'd like that very much. Welcome.